What's up, you beautiful people? I'm your host, The Danger Dave, and welcome back to Max Payne. So, we're still trying to get to the uh, cargo ship with Boris Dime, uh, but before we continue with this uh, warehouse, go ahead and take care of this guy right here with your sniper rifle. What the? What the? And then there's this guy. He does have an Ingram, so be mindful of that. Okay, you can fuck right off. Thank you. And I don't need any of this stuff right here. Now, you're going to want to be careful right here, uh, because there will be a guy uh, over here and on the scaffolding above him. And the guy above him uh, will uh, throw a grenade. So watch out for that. Okay, go ahead and get over here. He usually has, uh, tossed it by now. There it is. Alright, I'm gonna get my sniper rifle out, cause, uh, the guy up top does have a shotgun, but he always seems to have pretty good aim with that sniper rifle. Alright. And then I'm going to get my dual Ingrams out. Collect all the goodies over here, especially those grenades. Now there will be another guy uh, that will throw a grenade. He's right there. Ow. He'll be coming this way. Alright. Now I'm going to rush over here by the stairs, because there is a guy right here who has a... Uh, Ingrams and you want him dead as soon as possible because he can be a bit of a headache. And now we'll take care of this guy. And uh, that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. We should uh, be good. Go ahead and go around here because there is more uh, ammo and painkillers and stuff for you. Now I see sniping area up next. I don't remember. Go ahead and get my dual berets out. Oh, that's right. There's this guy with the uh, beretta over here. Okay. All right. With him out of the way, we can actually grab some uh, hidden goodies right here in this little uh, container right here. Was it here? Yeah, they're in there. How do you get in there again? Was that the other way? Yeah, because here's the boxes and stuff. I literally almost tried to make that jump. There we go. Because there's painkillers. And shotgun ammo. Sweet. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the sniping section of today's festivities. Oh, God damn it, door! Dang it! Should, he should not have uh, gotten that close to me. I just, I don't really want to waste the bullet time here, because I am going to be needing it uh, for this section right here. So, we need to make this platform move, uh, and there are guys that you have to snipe. In fact, can I get a jump on this guy? Yeah, we can. Although, I'm not going to... Crouching does make your sniper rifle a little more steady. Oh, fuck. He doesn't know what's going on. There we go. Dead. Alright, that's him out of the way. Uh, I don't believe I can see that guy. Okay. So, gonna hit this. Go ahead and zoom in. And go into slow mode. Go ahead and exit. Go 
All right. I think there's another dickhead over here. Yeah, there is. time thing and everything. Dickhead. Alright. That should be everybody because I did take care of the uh, guy beforehand. I really don't like this part, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Sniping isn't really something you should be doing in a Max Pan game. At least it is one that's kind of clunky like this. It works. Uh, but this is one of the more slower bits because you do have to wait for this slow ass machine. Okay. Oh god. There we go. And. I might just ignore those guys. There will be guys that come over that way. You can actually get over there, too. Just try not to fall. Go ahead and kill that guy. Doesn't- don't really need a headshot, because the sniper rifle is a one-hit kill. Alright. And there we go. Alright, so now we're uh, getting closer to the ship here, ladies and gentlemen. Just uh, past this little warehouse here. Go ahead and run down this ramp right here. You can die. Thank you. You can just cool your jets there, sir. Oh, hi there. Get out of my way. Uh, I don't think that guy's gonna be coming. Alright. So there is a, a lookout on the ship. Go ahead and take this guy. He's just oblivious. Use my Ingram. Ingrams are fun. Oh god. Actually, no. We also need to hit this switch right here that opens up this gate. Now they know where you are, so uh, you can just kind of wait for them to come through that door if you want to. Alright, that's one guy. And there's that guy. Holy shit, he's not dead! <laughs> I was for certain that guy was gonna be dead. Alright, that should be everybody. We can uh, go ahead and loot this place clean if we want. Grab the Beretta ammo. And there are uh, stuff in here. Like painkillers and ammo. And then there is more uh, ammo over here. I believe there's painkillers over here, too. Yeah, nice. Go ahead and use a shotgun. Nice little resupply area. Rust had crept over the sides of the cargo steamer a long time ago. Boris Dime would be on board. I'd have to smoke half of his crew to even get near the gangplank. Guns were probably being kept in the hold, buried amidst the rats and oily water. Alright, so we're uh, right here. Ow. 
Ow. Oh, no, I didn't want to fly that way. Okay. Can you just die? The reason I kind of freaked out is uh, if you fall in the water, that's death. I guess Max just can't swim, so I kind of freaked out there for a second. I'm not going to use the shotgun, actually. I'm going to switch to my Ingram. In fact, I'm actually going to use the Desert Eagle. Hey, ya! Uh, got a wise guy here. Okay, you can just die. <laughs> the wise guys in this uh, game are, are so funny. Oh, I see you up there. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and use the dual Berettas. Hold it. And everything fucking hurts on her uh, hard boiled. Now there is a guy in there if I remember correctly. Yeah, he's right fucking there. Ouch. But first painkillers. the dime cost you. I bet it was more than his name. Max Payne. Right the first time. You're dead, punk. You sure you're not confusing me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon we should get together and have a talk. You son of a Pissing Punchinello off was a dangerous game. But when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. That's where I wanted Punchinello, mad enough to trip over his own feet. Preferably into a grave. Tripping into a grave. Alright, uh, I'm going to use the dual Ingrams right now. Go ahead and open this up. Splatter that guy all over the wall. Uh, usually throwing grenades on a boat is a bad idea, but this is a video game after all. Tricky son of a bitch. Oh, God! He came out a lot faster than I thought he would. Okay. Waiting on you, homie. No, nothing really. Okay. Oh, God! <laughs> right when you think it's safe to go down there. I mean, I see you down there, homie. Are you? Do you seriously have a... Uh... Okay, gonna have to go in there and get him. go. 
Now, you do regain a little bit of health uh, if you take too much health. Uh, just to kind of keep you going. So if you don't take any damage for a while, you will uh, get a little health back. Uh, eat those painkillers because I do need them because I'm getting my ass kicked here. But with that dime out of the picture, we're ready. Oh. Oh my god, it's Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Take all of this. Just so much yes. Alright, so now we got one of the best guns in the game, ladies and gentlemen. The Colt Commando. Basically, your M4 for the game. Uh, and it is awesome. And uh, I will be using it uh, quite a bit, actually. So, uh, you know, grab all your guns and you're free to go. This is my solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem anymore. Clear as vodka. But anytime you get between a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big time gangster act, don't you? Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? Yeah, I know it. Wow. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies. But that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up. But there was no crime in hoping. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm going to call it a part right here. And join me next time while uh, things get a little heated inside of Angelo's uh, restaurant here. If you like this episode, be sure to shoot that like and subscribe button and slap that bell icon to stay up to date on all my videos. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next episode. You guys have yourself a fantastic day.